Sudan's seven-month conflict is at a crossroads. After days of talks in Jeddah, the warring parties, the Sudanese army and the paramilitary group, the rabbit support forces, have not been able to reach a peace deal. What it means for the future of Sudan is uncertain, as fears grow that the fighting could escalate further before the sides eventually decide to call a halt, having torn the country asunder. It's a heartbreaking prospect for many Sudanese who've suffered badly since April. I lost everything in the war in Khartoum and I've started from scratch. The war is affecting us heavily every day. The Sudan army and RSF should negotiate for the future of this country before it's too late. The ongoing civil war has caused one of the world's biggest displacement crises. Almost 6 million people are said to be internally displaced, about half of which may be children. As violence continues to escalate in different parts of Sudan, the two warring factions have agreed in principle to build trust and open humanitarian corridors for aid delivery in Khartoum and Darfur regions. Many Sudanese are worried about the direction their country is heading. Our future is dark. The country's future is dark. We need this war to stop immediately. Every day that passes, the suffering increases. And if the war continues, the country will collapse. Recent reports show the paramilitary militia now controls many states in the war-torn Darfur region of the West. There are also accusations against the RSF of ethnically driven killings against non-Arab tribes there, accusations the group deny. Despite the RSF's gains, the armed forces are holding out in other strategic areas, leading to a stalemate of sorts. I don't think any of the two warring parties has the ability to entirely win this conflict. Both the army and RSF should make concessions to accelerate the peace process and implementation. The talks facilitators said another round with direct contact could bring better news in terms of paving the way for a permanent ceasefire. However, for now, the future of the conflict in Sudan remains very uncertain.